Um, so, so I work for the OERU. Um, our real core business is uh, access to more affordable education uh, for all learners worldwide uh, using OER. Uh, it's, it's an innovative model, um, and, but it's a low-cost, uh, low-risk, but high-impact model. We can move on to the next slide. The OERU concept is a simple but a powerful model. Uh, we assemble open online courses based entirely on OER, which makes it possible for learners to access these courses at no cost. And our partner institutions from around the world offer assessment services on a fee-for-service basis with pathways to achieving transcript credit towards uh, designated credentials. Uh, the next slide there. So basically how this works, uh, our OERU contributing partners each assemble two online courses, uh, as I mentioned, uh, based entirely on OBR and open access materials. They offer assessment services and um, our model is a, a transfer credit model. So each of our individual partners who assess these courses for formal credit will issue transcript credit which then articulates uh, across the network to our designated credentials. Moving on to the next slide. We are just uh, about to launch our first year of study, which will have two exit credentials, a certificate in general studies that will be conferred by Thompson Rivers University in Canada, as well as a certificate of higher education business which will be conferred through the University of the Highlands and Islands in Scotland. I'd also like to highlight a, a foundation course, uh, Learning in a Digital Age, has really been set up to build the competencies and skills for our learners in the digital and learning literacies for the 21st century, uh, enabling our, our learners to engage and participate more meaningfully in the OERU program. Moving on then to the next slide. I do want to acknowledge uh, that a number of our courses have been proudly remixed uh, from at least eight of the Sailor Foundation courses. And I think this is a good example of how we collectively in the OER space are building on the ecosystem. Uh, we have converted and remixed these courses for, courses for the OERU delivery platform but in return, Sailor will be getting benefit as well because they would be able to list more tertiary education institutions around the world who would be able to assess Sailor courses for formal credit. But in addition to that, the uh, courses that we have assembled that are perhaps not on the books of the Sailor Foundation could easily be converted for the Sailor delivery platform and integrated. That's building the ecosystem together using open approaches. The next slide. I, I think I should say something about our delivery platform. We do not use a learning management system. And uh, this is not a philosophical decision to rid the world of the shackles of learning management systems, but rather a more pragmatic approach in dealing with version control and collaborative course development. We assemble and author all our courses using a wiki, using the popular media, media wikis, uh, open source software uh, that you'll be familiar with that runs Wikipedia, which provides us with version control. And we have the mechanisms to automatically generate published websites, which uh, at the moment are running on WordPress, which gives the ability for any educator, any education institution in the world to publish and host their own OBRU uh, uh, online courses. Our interaction technologies are component-based and we have some smart ways of connecting these uh, courses together. Uh, moving on to the next slide there. As I indicated uh, in the beginning, we are an international consortium of some 30 institutions with a footprint in 12 countries. And this, of it presents a number of unique uh, challenges and opportunities for the network that typically uh, national-based institutions aren't having to grapple with. One, of course, is 
uh, the differences in force sizes in different parts of the world. So, for example, in North America, a typical three credit course would equate to roughly 120 notional uh, learning hours, whereas uh, in Australia, it's 160 notional learning hours. In New Zealand, it's 150 notional learning hours. In the United Kingdom, a, a typical module, which is their equivalent of a course, would be 200 notional learning hours. And how we uh, manage to deal with this challenge is to assemble all OERU courses as micro courses, which equate roughly to 40 notional learning hours. So this then becomes an international currency, if you will, uh, for figuring out uh, articulation across international boundaries. Uh, in North America, for example, a learner would have to complete three of the OVRU micro courses uh, to equate to roughly one, uh, to equate to three credits, whereas in our part of the world, they would have to do four micro courses. So this creates uh, additional opportunities. Uh, on to the next slide. Some of our partners are will be offering micro credentials. I, I have a picture there of a slide of the Edubit initiative, which will be launched by a target polytechnic in the next couple of weeks, where learners will be able to earn digital badges for our micro courses. And putting this together in thinking about articulation into the formal education sector, the next slide there, which I think is slide number 10, for example, the Create Sustainable Futures course, which is a first year level course, uh, comprises four micro courses in the New Zealand system. If a, learn, a learner can take each of these micro courses individually, and only if they want, they can apply for assessed learn to earn a digital badge. And if the learners have uh, complete the four digital badges that are mapped to the uh, full credit bearing course, they will qualify for credit, which they then articulate through our exit qualifications. The next slide, and this will be my last slide, um, the OERU model uh, is a, a, a philanthropic model. Uh, no new money is required. Our recurrent costs for assessment services are guaranteed. We are targeting uh, underserved markets, so we are not aiming to cannibalize the existing markets of the formal sector. And it certainly does provide opportunities for generating new revenue streams. We've done quite a bit of work around open business models, which you are licensed, which you are free to download, to have a think to see how these approaches might support and help your own institution. And so given my late uh, arrival due to technical difficulties, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, thank you very much, Wayne.